Hello, I'm Christopher Thompson, and yesterday when I was out in London, I found a copy of this. So I thought I'd read it to you. The doctor straightened his bow tie and stepped out of the TARDIS. Hmm, interesting, he murmured. It's a museum, said Victoria, following the doctor. Why are we here? I'm not sure, but the TARDIS has brought us here. And if the TARDIS has brought us here, it brought us here for a good reason. A very good reason. It's a shame that the TARDIS can't just tell us what that good reason is, said Jamie. It's not very helpful. What? gasped the doctor. I won't have anyone suggesting that the TARDIS is in any way deficient. It is a magnificent machine. The doctor was very proud of the TARDIS. I was just saying, it does have a habit of dumping us in the middle of danger and then leaving us to it. The doctor glowered at Jamie and gave the TARDIS a pat. Now keep your eyes peeled, said the doctor. What for? asked Jamie. Things, Jamie, things that look unusual. Everything looks unusual, replied Jamie. We're in a museum. The three of them wandered further into the museum, looking for the unnamed, unusual thing. It was not easy searching for something when you did not know what you were looking for in the first place. I'm getting the feeling this is all a bit of a waste of time, said Jamie. Don't be foolish, said the doctor. The TARDIS is always right. You'll find out what it is any moment now. You'll mark my words. Do you think, began Victoria, that maybe, just possibly, the TARDIS was wrong? What? spluttered the doctor. Wrong? The TARDIS is infallible. It is utterly reliable. Unlike that boy. Where's Jamie gone? Wandered off again, I suppose. Maybe we should go back to the TARDIS, suggested the doctor. But there was no answer. Victoria? Jamie? The doctor was all alone. Oh, my giddy aunt! he exclaimed. The doctor walked warily on, and round the next corner he came to a Himalayan exhibit. There was a leopard, and a mountain goat, and a yak, and a yeti. Well, that's odd, said the doctor. I didn't think that yetis were... And then the yeti moved. You will! yelled the doctor. The yeti lunged at him, and the doctor ran. Every way the doctor turned, he was confronted by yetis. He skidded into the medieval hall and knocked over a suit of armour. Crash! Which in turn knocked over another. Crash! The last suit in the row fell, revealing a yeti holding Victoria. Its polack struck the yeti and knocked it over. My dear girl! cried the doctor. Are you all right? I am now, said Victoria. But we have to rescue Jamie. The doctor looked down at the fallen yeti. Look, it's not real. It is a robot. Someone must be controlling them, said Victoria. But who? Somebody with an evil plan, replied the doctor. Somebody with a remote control that is controlling the yetis. Would this help then? asked Victoria pulling out a TV remote. I was watching telly earlier. It's worth a try, said the doctor, aiming the remote control at the roaring yetis. The doctor pressed a button. The yetis fell silent, but continued to advance. Sorry, <laughs> silly me. That's the volume button, said the doctor. Now which one is the off button? Hang on, just a minute. Quickly, doctor, yelled Victoria. Suddenly, the Yeti stopped in their tracks. Well done, Doctor, cried Victoria. It wasn't me, said the Doctor. I didn't press anything. Let's find Jamie, suggested Victoria. The Doctor and Victoria rushed through the museum until they found Jamie. He was standing next to a pyramid of glowing orbs. A Yeti was serving him a drink on a tray. I think these beasties have made me their king he said. It seems that this here pyramid is the Yeti controller, and I'm now in control. Oh, my giddy aunt, exclaimed the doctor. Well, said Jamie when they were back in the TARDIS, it was lucky I was here. This old thing wasn't going to do us much good. At that, he slapped the control desk. 
I will not have you criticising the TARDIS, cried the Doctor. It is a wonderful piece of engineering, a veritable box of wizardry, a thoughtless mechanical miracle. Now, let's get out of here. The Doctor pressed the start button and... And nothing happened. The TARDIS had run out of energy. Magnificent, chuckled Jamie. Faultless, laughed Victoria. Oh, my giddy aunt, sighed the Doctor. So there you are, that is Doctor Second. There are other Doctors that you can collect, so please go to your bookshop. You can get any of them. You can get the first, the second, fourth, seventh, eighth, ninth, eleventh, twelfth, if you feel up for it. I won't be recording that one purely because I think it'd be better in your imagination. So, I hope you enjoyed, and uh, thank you very much for listening.